Long ago, two races ruled over Earth, humans and monsters. One day, war broke out between the two races. After a long battle, the humans were victorious. They sealed the monsters underground with a magic spell. Many years later, Mount Hebert, 2010X. Legend says that those who climb the mountain never return. What is up gamers and welcome to Undertale um, by Toby Fox and as you can tell it's just me today um, Master J.I. or as I commonly refer to as James um, just but he prefers other games let's just say uh, so I'm, I'm doing this on my own so um, anyway um, let's read the instructions confirm A, cancel B, menu X in game obviously when HP is zero, you lose. Relatively simple rules. Um, yeah, okay, I'm not going to change the language. Um, anyway, um, let's begin the game. Name the fallen human. Um, so, some of you might know uh, that my username is Gamer10. Um, and uh, that's what I'm going to go with. Also, there's no numbers, disappointingly. So I'm gonna go with the uh, uh, and no. Um, uh, there's no um, spaces either, so that sucks. So I'm gonna go with gamer. Um, let's write ten in capitals. Yeah. Okay. Um, run out of space annoyingly, so I'm just gonna go with gamer T. Is this name correct, gamer T? More than it's ever gonna be. Very dramatic start. Oh, here they are, game of tea. And uh, we seem to have landed on flowers. As you can see in that uh, pre-game cutscene, we've fallen in down a deep hole, and these flowers have cl clearly saved us. Oh, let's start the game. Howdy, I'm Flowey, Flowey the flower. Hmm, you're new to the underground, aren't you? Golly, you must be so confused. Someone ought to teach you how things work around here. I guess little old me you'll have to do. Ready? Here we go. Oh, I'm loving this guy. <laughs> See that heart? That is your soul. The very culmination of your being. Your soul starts off weak, but can go strong if you gain lots of LV. What's LV stand for? Why, love, of course. You want some love, don't you? Don't worry, I'll share some with you. Wink. Down here, love is shared through. Little white friendliness pellets. I think, yeah, I think I got it right. Anyway, are you ready? Move around, get as many as you can. No. You idiot. In this world, it's kill or be killed. Why would anyone pass up an opportunity like this? Die! No! Oh, the start of the game... What? Hello? It was a terrible creature torturing such a poor, innocent youth. Ah, do not be afraid, my child. I am Toriel, caretaker of the ruins. I pass through this place every day to see if anyone has fallen down. You are the first to human to come here in a long time. Come, I will guide you through the catacombs. This way.
The shadow of the ruins looms above, filling you with determination. HP fully restored. Wait, oh, I forgot we can check my menu. Don't have any items. Well, makes sense. Uh, zero gold. Uh, one love. You know, you'd think that'd be a level, but actually, according to Flowey, it's love. Anyway, HP, um, yeah, 20. Game of tea, lo uh, love, one. Uh, HP, 20. Um, attack. Yeah, none of that. Next. Don't know what the heck that means. Uh, I'm guessing it's another abbreviation because, uh, yeah, anyway. Weapon, stick, armor, bandage, gold, zero. Okay, let's uh, do this then. Welcome to your new home, innocent one. Allow me to educate you in the operation of the ruins. The ruins are full of puzzles. Ancient fusions between diversions and dorkies. One must solve them for, to move from room to room. Please adjust yourself to the sight of them. Makes sense. Don't. To make progress here, you will need to trigger several switches. Do not worry, I have labelled the ones that you need to flip. Splendid! I am proud of you, little one. Let us move into the next room. As a human living in the underground, monsters may attack you. You will need to be prepared for this situation. However, worry not, the process is simple. When you encounter a monster, you will enter a fight. While you are in a fight, strike up a friendly conversation. Stall for a time, I will come to resolve the conflict. Practice talking to the dummy. You encountered the dummy. She said talk. Where do we find that? Act. Oh, here we are. You talk to the dummy. It doesn't seem much for a conversation. Toriel seems happy of you. You won. You earned zero EXP and zero gold. Ah, very good. You are very good. There is another puzzle in this room. I wonder if you can solve it. Oh, oh, Froggit attacked you. Compliment threat. Compliment. Froggit didn't understand what you said, but he was flattered anyway. <laughs> hmm. You won. You earned zero XP and zero gold. At least I won. <sighs> this is a puzzle, but... Here, take my hand for a moment. Oh, this seems totally safe. Puzzles are a little too dangerous for now. You have done excellently thus far, my child. However, I must have a difficult request to ask of you. I would like you to walk to the end of this room by yourself. Forgive me for this. Greetings, my child. Do not worry. I did not leave you. I was merely behind this pillar the whole time. Thank you for trusting me. However, there was an important reason for this exercise to test your independence. I must attend to some business, and you must stay alone for a while. Please remain here. It's too dangerous to explore by yourself. I have an idea. I'll give you a cell phone. If you need, uh, need anything, just call. Be good, alright? Nah. I, to progress through the game, I have to... Oh, ring. Hello, this is Toriel. You have not left the room, have you? There are a few puzzles ahead that I have yet to explain. It will be too dangerous to try and solve them by yourself. Be good, alright? Click. Playful crinkling through the leaves fills you with determination. HP fully restored. It says take one. Take a piece of candy? Yes. You took a piece of candy. Press X to open the menu. 
Wait, let's quickly save just in case. Because I'm guessing, like any games, you can die, so. Oh! Uh, Frog it hot close. Compliment. Frog it didn't understand what you said, but he was flattered anyway. Blushes deeply, Ribbit. Why? Frog it seems reluctant to fight you. You won, you earned Zerux P in two gold. Finally earning something. <sighs> Bring. Hello, this is Toriel. For no reason in particular, which do you prefer? Cinnamon or butterscotch? Butterscotch. Oh, I see. Thank you very much. Bring. Hello, this is Toriel. You do not dislike cinnamon, do you? I know what your preference is, but would you turn it on your nose if you found it on your plate? Right, right, I understand. Thank you for being patient, by the way. Click. I'm guessing it's simple pushing mark. Went to an approach meekly. Oh, oh. I to, oh, we have monster candy. Uh, Console. Halfway through your first word, Winston bursts into tears and runs away. You won. You, you earn zero XP and zero gold. Ring. Hello. You do not have any allergies, do you? Huh? Why am I asking? No reason. No reason at all. Look. My switch is actually running low, guys, so I might have to, uh... Oh. Wait, okay. What's this? Do I just walk across it? Wait. Oh. So if it dies, I might have to, like, you know, go back. Please don't step on the leaves. Oh, sorry. Oh. Fog it up close. Meow. Oh. Right. Fog it didn't understand what you said, but he was flattered anyway. Blushes deeply. Frog, it seems reluctant to fight you. Oh, I see. If you spare them, like, when their names are... Wait, if you, when you spare is yellow, um, you spare them. Okay. Anyway, let's try and... I'm guessing this is a puzzle. Yeah. All right. Um, where do I go from here? So... If I can reach that sign up there. Huh? I, I don't get it. Please don't step on the leaves. Huh? Oh, I'm so confused. Right, so I had to look this one up, guys. Um, apparently, this thing is a... Never mind. Uh, I'm going to try fleeing. Oh, it always... It were. So, apparently, um, you need to... Uh, um, th this is a reflect. These leaves are a reflection of what's uh, the wrong path to step on. So, I think I've memorised it now. Um, and I think... It goes something like. Never mind, it's gonna quickly fight. Didn't you read the sign up downstairs? Yep, see? So, uh, yeah, there we go, we passed it. Alright. Ah, uh, uh, so many monsters. What happens if I flee? Escaped. So it's worked twice now. Whoa there, partner. Who said you could push me around? Hmm. So you're asking me to move over? Okay. Just for you, pumpkin. Hmm. You want me to move some more? Alrighty. How's this? Hmm. That was the wrong direction? Okay. I think I got it. Bro, you just did you legit just got nearly got me killed. I hate you. Hmm, you wanted me to stay there. Hmm, really? 
You're giving me a real workout. Oh my God. Knowing the mouse might one day leave its hole to get to the cheese, it fills you with determination. How about I nearly got killed by spikes? It fills me with determination. Mm. Are they gone yet? This ghost keeps saying aloud repeatedly, pretending to sleep. Move it the force. Here comes Naps the bloke. Okay, you gave Naps the bloke a patient smile. <laughs> Ooh. I think we're getting decent attacks now. <laughs> Naps the Blue looks just a little bit better. Should we keep cheering? He told Naps the Blue a little joke. <laughs> really not feeling up to it, sorry. Right now. <laughs> cheering seems to have improved Naps the Blue's mood again. Naps the Blue wants to show you something. Let me try. I call it a dapper Blue. Do you like it? That's the blue keyglee awaits your response. Cheer. Oh gee. I usually come up to the ruins because no one's nobody's around. But today I met someone nice. Oh, I'm rambling again. I'll get out of your way. And he's gone. Pretty simple. <sighs> oh, I don't even I, yeah, I don't have enough. Spider bake sale, all pro proceeds go to real spiders. Wait, what about the other web? Is it any cheaper? I mean, it's much bigger, but yeah. <laughs> Just thought maybe it makes an exception for some weird reason. Did you miss it? Spider bake sale down on the right. Come to eat food made by spiders, for spiders, of spiders. Ribbit, ribbit. <sighs> My friend never listens to me. Whenever I talk, they just skip through my words by pressing B. That's right, pressing B. Well, at least you listen to me. Ribbit, ribbit. I heard using borders can add some colour to the world. It seems you can choose them in the settings menu before you load your game. However, there isn't a frog themed border, so I just get it, it's just pointless. Ribbit. Ribbit, ribbit. I've heard you were quite merciful for a human. So surely you know what right now the monsters wear a yellow name when you can spare it. What do you think of that? Very helpful. It's rather helpful. Remember, sparing is just saying that you won't fight. Maybe one day you'll have it to do uh, Do it even that to their name isn't yellow. Ring. Hello. I just realised that it's been a while since I've get cleaned up. I'm not expecting to have company so soon. There are probably a lot of things that are lying about here and there. You can pick them up, but do not carry uh, more than you need. Someday you might see something you really like. You will want to leave the room in your pockets for that. Okay. Wait. There's just one switch. I can see the switch. Which is why I came out of the earth. Devour dinner talk. Plants can't talk with dummy. <laughs> well, you just did talk. Anyway, dinner. You pack your stomach, register it offers a healthy meal. Eat your greens. Oh. Wait, it just gave me health. It smells like steamed carrots and peas. Oh, my for goodness. Biggest crawled up close. Old small. Yeah, just spare room. Nothing like a uh, no time. I <laughs> don't dance. Uh, Miko doesn't seem to have a care, uh, care in the world. You won, you earned zero EXP and zero two gold. But well, I know the switches in this one. Okay. 
And there we go. Proceed. The far door is not an exit. It simply marks a rotation of the perspective. If you can read this, press the blue switch. There's no blue switch. Oh! A pair of loops decided to pick on you. You rude little snipe. Please don't pick on me. Whoa, 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 whoa. Looks is staring right through you. Right, don't pick. Looks B said don't pick on. So, finally, someone gets it. Quit staring at me. Whoa. Looks gnashes its teeth. Quit staring at me. Oh. Ah. Oh no, I'm nearly dead. Uh, don't be gone. Finally, someone gets it. Whoa. Looks is gazing at you. Oh, alright. You won? Yep. Wow, well, 10 gold. Oh yeah, behind this pillar, it's a switch, press it, you hear a clicking sound. If you can read this, press the red switch. A pair of looks decide to pick on you. I'm just going to flee. I'm guessing fleeing always works, doesn't really have many requirements. It's a switch, press it, yes, you hear a clicking sound. Um. Uh, Oh, two hidden ones. If you can read this, press the green switch. Which one? I'm gonna 50 50 split. Never mind. If I win this, I'll go for the left. What? Wait. Uh, actually, no. Because if I die, then I'm. Right, flee. Right, I'm gonna close my eyes, go left and right, whichever one's at lantern. Right, I guess I'm going for this one then. It's a switch. Press it. You hear a clicking sound. Wait, what does the other switch do? Uh, oh, it just restarts you, right? Okay, you restart back at the beginning. So I guess that was a lucky pick there. Um, just rush back through here. Uh, the hole doesn't seem to be there anymore, but okay. Okay. All right, um, right, Ribbit Ribbit, just between you and me, I saw Toriel come out of here just a little while ago. She wants, she's carrying, she seems to be it, carrying some groceries. I didn't ask what they were for. <laughs> we're all a little too intimidated to talk to her, <laughs> Ribbit. You found a toy knife. You can't equip it. Use info. You took the toy knife, weapon attack free made of plastic, a rarity nowadays. Let's equip it then. You equip the toy knife. Alright, we're gonna go up here now. I'm guessing this is where we see Toriel, because it seems to have gone on for a long time. Oh dear, that took a little longer than I thought it would. How did you get here, my child? Are you hurt? There, there. I will heal you. I should not have left you alone for so long. I was irresponsible to try and surprise you like this. Uh, well, I suppose I could not hide it any longer. Come, small one. Every time this old tree grows a leaf, any leaves, they fall right off. See, such a cute, tidy house in the ruins gives you, feels you determination. So I'm guessing, uh, wait, do you smell that? Surprise! It's a butterscotch cinnamon pie. I thought we might celebrate your arrival. I want you to have a nice time living here. So I will hold off the snail pie for tonight. Okay, snails are edible, but a bit strange to put it in a pie. Anyways, here, I have another surprise for you. Okay, it, this is it. A room of your own. I hope you like it. Something burning? Um, make yourself at home. Can't interact with the wardrobe. 
An empty photo frame is really dusty. A box of kids shoes in a, a disparity of sizes. Let's turn that back on. Can I interact the no, 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 I guess the box of shoes is in the way. Look at these cool toys. They don't they interest you at all. Wow, what have I? You have seen this type of plant before, but you don't know its name. Just a regular oil bucket of snails. Toy out small chair. Its name is uh, Chair Real. <laughs> Pum. Anyway, definitely bigger than a twin sized bed. Oof. It's an empty encyclopedia of subterranean plants. You open the middle. Typha, a group of wetland flowering plants with a brown oblong sea pods, known more commonly as water sausages. So everything's blue except for that those flowers up there. You peek inside. Scandalous! It's Toriel's sock drawer. Ah, the cactus. Truly most sun deer of plants. Room under renovations. And we can see ourselves. Oh, it's a water sausage. Right, I'm gonna get some sleep now because I'm no, there's a bed in here and what. Anyways, um. Oh. Okay. You found a slice of butterscotch cinnamon pie. Right, let's go and see Tori Allen. Wait, what's downstairs? These books are worn. They must have been read many times. Creepy music. I think you should play upstairs instead. Right, okay. Inside an old calendar, uh, calendar from the beginning of 2010X. Uh, oh, wasn't that this year? Okay. It's a history book. Here's a random page. Trapped behind the barrier and fearful further of human attacks, we retreated. Far, far into the earth we walked, until we reached a cavern's end. This was our new home, we, which we named Home. As great as our king is, he's pretty lousy at names. The ends of the tools have been f filled uh, down to make them safer. Filed, sorry. The fire isn't burning hot, but pleasantly warm. You can put your hands inside. There's some white fur stuck in the drain. Tori has, I'm guessing. So that was telling that, that book, history book, was telling the story of um, the monsters at the beginning. For some reason, there's a brand new chocolate bar in the fridge. Inside the cupboard are cookie cutters for the gingerbread monsters. The size of the pie intimidates you too much for you to eat it. The stove top is very clean. Toria must have used a fire magic instead. Fire magic? Up already, I see? Um, I want you to know how glad I am to have someone here. There are so many old books I want to share. I want to show you my favourite bug hunting spot. I've also prepared a uh, curriculum for your education. This may come as a surprise to you, but I've always wanted to be a teacher. Actually, perhaps this isn't very surprising. Still, I'm glad to have you living here. Oh, did you want something? What is it? She says the options. Anyway, nothing. When can I go home? Right, time to progress through the game. What? This this is your home now? Um, would you like to hear about a, a book I'm reading? It's called 72 Uses for Snails. How about it? No, I'm getting out of here. Um, how about an exi uh, exciting snail fact? Did you know that snails make terrible shoelaces? Interesting. I have something to stay here. Yeah, that was pretty suspicious. Not gonna lie. I'm guessing she's downstairs because she really didn't want us down here. Oh, there here we are. It's new. You wish to return home, do you not? Ahead of us lies the end of the ruins. 
a one-way exit to the rest of the underground. I'm going to destroy it. No one will ever be able to leave it again. Now be good, a good child and go upstairs. Destroy a barrier? How do you destroy it? Anyway. Every human that falls down here meets the same fate. I have seen it again and again. They come. They leave. They die. You naive child, if you leave the ruins, they, Asgore, will kill you. I am the only protecting you. Do you understand? Go up to your room. Do not try to stop me. This is your final warning. You want to leave so badly? Hm. Just like the others. There is only one solution for the, to this. Prove yourself. Prove to me you are strong enough to survive. Toriel blocks away. Uh, check. Oh, oh, one. Uh, Toriel, uh, attack 80, defense 80, knows best for you. Oh, bro. Oh, he's not having your fireballs. I'm guessing that's what I meant by fire magic. Toriel prepares a magical attack. How does it escape? This is right. That is right. Go upstairs. Already? What, what? When will you uh, uh, take it for your, for you to learn your lesson? What happens if I spit? Okay. Dot dot dot. Uh, dot, 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 dot. Toriel looks for you. Oh, it gets different whenever I. Sp Wait. What happens if I talk? You couldn't think of any conversation topics. You tried to think of something to say again, but... Alright. Ironically, talking does not seem to be the solution to the situation. So, I'm guessing... We have to keep messy. I thought it seemed different. Oh no, this is this is kind of bad. I have heels. I have heels. Uh, monster candy. You ate the monster candy. You recovered ten HP. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Whoa, 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 whoa! Toya looks through you. Keep messy. Start to get confused. Oh! <gasps> Toriel's acting aloof. What are you doing? Attack or run away. Toriel looks through you. What are you proving this way? Fight me or leave. Oh, okay. Toriel looks through you. Stop it. Yeah, okay. Stop looking at me that way. Oh, no. Totally, okay. Go away. Wait, oh. See, she launches attacks at us, but refuses to. Toriel takes a deep breath. So, she's not going to kill us. I know you want to go home, but. But please go upstairs now. I promise I will take good care of you here. I know we do not have much, but we can have a good life here. Why are you making this so difficult? Please, go upstairs. <laughs> Pathetic, is it not? I cannot even save a single child. No, I understand. You would be unhappy trapped down here. The ruins are very small once you get used to them. 
It would not be right for you to grow up in a place like this. My expectations, my loneliness, my fear. For you, my child, I will put them aside. If you truly wish to leave the ruins, I will not stop you. However, when you leave, please do not come back. I hope you understand. Ah. Goodbye, my child. Yeah. Of course the music has to slow down to be so sad as well. Right. Oh. Nope, the music just stops. I don't like... I'm guessing it's like progressing. I guess it's like quite the um, transition. Because, yeah, silence always is. Clever, very clever. You think you're really smart, don't you? But in this world, it's kill or be killed. So you were able to play by your own rules. You spared the life of a single person. <laughs> I bet you feel really great. You didn't kill anybody this time. But what will you do if you re 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 meet a relentless killer? You'll die and you'll die and you'll die until you tire of trying. What will you do then? Will you kill out of frustration or will you give up entirely in this world and let me inherit the power to control it? I am the prince of this world's future. Don't worry, my little monarch. My plan isn't to regicide. This is so much more interesting. That wasn't scary. <sighs> Flowey, when are you ever going to stop haunting me? Wait, this was just like the beginning. Undertale? Don't tell me we're getting stuck. Literally, yeah. Well, get... By Toby Fox. We've got a long game ahead of us. Uh, but, yeah, so... There's a camera hidden by it in the bushes. You can actually hear music. It's just, like, super quiet. Um, trees, very silent. It's a tough looking branch, it's too heavy to pick up. Okay, let's just proceed. I don't like this, guys. Uh, this is it. It's intensifying. Uh. Run! Run! Gave a T. Run! Human. Don't you know how to greet a new pal? Turn around and shake my hand. <laughs> the old whoopee cushion in the hand trick. It's always funny. Anyways, you're a human, right? That's hilarious. I'm Sans. Sans a skeleton. I'm actually supposed to be on watch for humans right now. But, you know, I don't really care about capturing anybody. Now, my brother Papyrus. He's a human hunting fanic. Hey, actually, I think that's him over there. I have an idea. Go through this gate thingy. Yeah, go right f through. My bro made it so the bar's too wide to stop anyone. Uh, quick! Behind that convenient shaped lamp. Of course, conveniently shaped lamp. Sup, bro? You know what's up, brother? It's been eight days and you still haven't recalibrated your puzzles. You hang around outside your station. What are you even doing? Staring at this lamp. It's really cool. Do you want to look? No, I don't have time for that. What if a human comes through here? I want to be ready. I will be the one. I must be the one. I will capture a human. Then I, the great papyrus, will get to all the things I utterly deserve. Respect, recognition, 
I'll finally be able to join the Royal Guard. People will ask to be my friend. I will bathe in a shower of kisses every morning. Uh, huh. Maybe that lamp will help you. Sands, you are not helping you, lazy bones. All you do is just sit and boondoggle. You get lazier and lazier every day. Hey, take it easy. I've got a ton of work every day. A skeleton. Sands! Come on, you're smiling. I am, and I hate it. <sighs> what does uh, at someone as great as me I have to do so much just to get some recognition? Wow, sounds like you're really working yourself down to the bone. <laughs> ah, I will attend to my puzzles. As for your work, put a little more backbone into it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you can come out now. You ought to get going. He might come back. And if he does, you'll have to sit through more of my hilarious jokes. Just a conveniently shaped lamp. It's some sort of checkpoint or sentry station. But there are bottles of ketchup, mustard and relish sitting inside. Actually, hey, I um, hate to bother you, but... Can you do me a favour? I was thinking, my brother has been kind of down lately. He's never seen a human before, and seeing you might make just make his day. Don't worry, he's not dangerous, even if he tries to be. Thanks a million, I'll be up ahead. And you just went the wrong way. The convenience of that lamp still the feels you with determination. Lamp still feels you with determination. Right, I think we're going to end the game here now, right, guys. I think we're going to so, end the game um, here now, guys. So, well, yeah, um... Actually, yeah, um, just like the conveniently shaped lamp. Just like the conveniently shaped lamp. Conveniently, ha, I'm acting like Sans now. Um, um, I ran out of storage the, um, space. Just so I got. I ran out of storage space. Just so, so I got to the checkpoint. If the camera so looks a bit weird, that's, right. that's just a bit weird. Why? That's, 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 that's just. Anyway, guys, tune in for more Undertale next time. Tune in for more Undertale next time. See you later, gamers. See you later, gamers. Clothing is more than a warning.